You ever wonder if you can use your quail manure as fertilizer for your garden or for your plants? Had a couple of questions about that lately, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today I'm going to be doing some cleanup underneath the quail hutch, and I've had a couple of questions, like I said lately, about whether you can use your quail manure as fertilizer for either your garden or your potted plants or any of those kinds of things. So the short answer is you can, but there are certain things that you need to do with it. Uh, first of all, quail manure is really high in nitrogen, so that's what makes it a hot manure. It's not like rabbit manure. Rabbit manure is a cold manure. You can put that straight on your plants, no problem whatsoever. It's a great fertilizer. Quail manure will work well. It does add a lot of nutrients to your soil and it does make a good fertilizer, but it really needs to be composted first. You don't want to use it straight, just you know, right out of the bird onto the plants. It'll burn them. It's too high in nitrogen and they'll end up getting nitrogen overdose, so they'll look like they've been burned basically. Um, so normally you wouldn't want to take this stuff directly out from underneath the quail hutch and throw it right on your garden, but it is fall and I've done a couple of things, so I'm going to put it straight on the garden and I'm going to take you over there. I'm going to show you how I do that so to make sure that it's ready for the plants in the spring because it's going to have several months to sit. It's not going straight on live plants right now. So uh, let me get some of this cleaned up first though and then we'll get over into the garden and start working over there. And honestly, um, you know, a lot of this stuff here, let me get down a little bit lower and I'll show you. This has got a lot of quail food mixed in with it where they've spilled it and that's perfectly fine. But, you know, I've got black soldier fly larvae that, that come over into this area right here. So honestly, they kind of compost this stuff down. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you can see that on camera very well, but that's pretty much already composted. So you know, I don't have to worry about that because they took care of that over the summer for me. But normally you would want to compost this stuff down. Let me get it all bucketed up here. We'll go over to the garden. We'll talk about it a little bit more in detail here. All right, so I got a wheelbarrow full of uh, you know quail manure. I always have to be careful when I say that word. Somebody made fun of me for saying wheelbarrow instead of wheelbarrow. And I'm probably gonna say wheelbarrow again, just the way I've always said it. I don't know why I get that word wrong. It's a little bit of the redneck in me, I guess. But either way, got a wheelbarrow full of, uh, or is it a wheelbarrow? Is it, either way, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Got a, got it full of quail manure here, and um, I'm going to be spreading some of this out in the garden. Now, what I've done, I don't know how well you can see this, I don't know how well it's showing up on film, but I've got a bunch of dead leaves just laid out over this bed. And really down on that end, I've already spread out rabbit manure, but I ran out. I don't have enough to cover the whole bed, so I'm going to supplement it with some quail manure so I can get this bed covered up. Um, I've been waiting for a little while to do this, uh, to get this bed prepared. Now, it is early November. Well, no, it's late November. Sorry, November 22nd, I think, is today. And uh, so I've got plenty of time. I mean, I'm not going to be planting into this bed until like May, mid-May. So I've got plenty of time for this stuff to break down before I need to use it. Um, if I wasn't going to be, you know, if I needed to use this stuff right away, you can't really use it right away. You need to give it time to break down. And the best way to do that is to put it into a compost pile, mix it in with some kind of carbon material, which is dead leaves, you know, grass clippings, dried grass clippings, straw, uh, shredded up cardboard, any of those kinds of things. Mix it in about equal amounts and uh, give it about six months a year um, for it to break down and turn into compost for you. You can probably get away with it a little bit sooner than that if you have a good hot compost pile. Uh, but I'm not going to have to worry about that because like I said, I've just laid down some dead leaves here. So what I'm going to be doing is spreading this out just a little bit over the top of these leaves, not super thick. Um, and then I'm going to cover it up with some landscape fabric like I've got the rest of my garden done. And uh, 
let it sit until May and then go to plant into it. And that's going to be fine. The bugs, um, everything's going to come up and break this stuff down over the next couple of months. And mixing in with these dead leaves, it's going to, it's going to deteriorate and decompose. And like I said, most of this, honestly, is pretty much decomposed already because of the uh, black soldier fly larvae that tend to, um, tend to, to live in the compost pile. You can see, I mean, already it looks like dirt, most of it. So, you know, it really doesn't have much further to go. It's not, not like taking straight, you know, quail manure necessarily. So anyway, I mean, there's no trick to this. Like I said, I just laid out some dead leaves. I'm going to sprinkle this quail manure over the top of it. And then I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to let it sit until spring. And uh, when I'm ready to plant into it, and then I just plant into it. There's no tilling I'm going to need to do, anything like that. Nothing. Just uh, plant away. And that's probably really about all I need on here. It doesn't need to be real thick, just a thin layer. So, I've got a whole bunch more for the compost pile. That's where the rest of this stuff's going to go for now. All right, so I've got my uh, quail or my leaves, my dead leaves spread out over the garden bed. Got the quail manure laid down. Again, it's just a thin layer of both, just a thin layer of, uh, of leaves, uh, dead leaves brown, dry, dead leaves, and a thin layer of quail manure right over the top of them. And that's going to break down just fine over the next couple of months. Um, like I said, I've got until like May. So I've got December, January, February, March, and April. I've got five, six months before I'm going to be planting into this bed. So that's plenty of time for this stuff to break down and be just fine to plant into. And that's really all I'm going to have to do. I'm not going to have to till this garden bed or anything like that. Next thing I'm going to do is lay this landscape fabric out over it. Maybe a little tricky today because it's a little bit windy out, but I'm going to see if I can't get it laid out, get it stapled down. And then uh, I'm just going to leave it until it's ready to plant into. This bed is done and ready to go. Um, again, if you want to use quail manure as fertilizer in your plants, it's fine to use. It makes a good fertilizer, but you don't want to use fresh quail manure on live plants. It will burn them. It's way too much nitrogen for them. Um, so your best bet is usually to pile that stuff up with a... You know, you could just pile it up and let it set for about a year and it's going to be fine to use. Or if you want to get it quicker, pile it up with some kind of carbon material like dead leaves. Uh, shred them up if you want them to break down faster. Um, what else would work well? Dry, you know, dead dry grass. Um, you know, cardboard, shredded up cardboard in, in nice shreds. Uh, you could use uh, wood pellets like you would use in a wood pellet stove. Any of those things. Mix them about equal contents um, by volume. And uh, you want to stir that stuff every couple of weeks, and it'll break down a lot quicker. It'll get hot, and it'll break down a lot quicker. So uh, anyway, but other, other than that, again, the, the thing is you can spread it right out in your garden in the fall, mix it in with some dead leaves, cover it over, and it'll break down by spring, and you're going to be good to go with that. So let me get this bed covered up, and then uh, we'll see what we can do to get this video closed out. Again, this may be tricky. You guys may be able to watch something that's, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit funny to watch. I better grab a couple of steaks here so I don't have to come back and get them. Let's see what we can do here.
think that about does it. And uh, I think I'm gonna be done for today. I got two more beds to finish out still yet. Plenty of time to do them. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know I started this one a little while ago. One thing I forgot to mention, if you haven't seen my previous videos, is I did start off by laying a layer of compost, just a thin layer of compost over the top of this bed. And then on top of that, some dead leaves. Then on top of that, some rabbit manure over part of it. Ran out of rabbit manure. And then went ahead and, and uh, sprinkled that uh, with some uh, quail manure. So that's it, though. This garden bed is going to be ready to plant into in the spring. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, as always... God bless.